Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Anders Gill, of course, and oh yes, uh, this is kind of a review of Battlefield uh, 3, actually, or the open beta, at least. Kind of, uh, kind of the things I don't like and the things I do like. And keep in mind, this is beta, so uh, this is not uh, a representation of the finished product, and this is not things that necessarily are not going to be fixed in the finished product. This is basically a list of things I already do like a really much, <laughs> or a lot, and uh, basically a list of things that I really hope they will, should, or, or maybe should change. So basically, uh, let's start off with some smaller things like uh, how you basically open the game in a browser, a uh, web browser that is, not an actual browser inside a game itself. Uh, I do not really like that, but then again, that's kind of a minor thing, I don't really care about that that much to be real honest. And doesn't doesn't really matter that much, but then again, it would be nice if the game was like a regular game with like you had your friends list and shit like that inside the game, and you could choose between different servers and basically, you basically make it work a lot better, just like Counter Strike or or just like Battlefield Bad Company and the most other games, shooter games like this. And, Things I don't like that are bigger, bigger, bigger problems right now are the flashlights. Oh my god, the flashlight blinds you completely from from well over 10 meters distance or about 11 yards and it is being used like hell. I mean, uh, there, there, more, there will be some good examples of that in this gameplay video, I think. Uh, I don't uh, I don't remember completely, I just recorded like two hours yesterday while I was trying it, but basically I had uh, the chance to try it a lot longer now. So this is not a first impression, this is basically a review of the beta, even though it's kind of weird doing a review of the beta, but I, I'm gonna guess most of you guys wanna know, like, what, what are the prawn, what are the pros and what are the cons and things like that. Uh, gameplay itself, it feels really good, as you see there's like zero lag already. Uh, there are a few instances when you run around the corner and you get shot and you think, what the fuck just happened? Uh, but I think that is due to lag. I think that is people lagging on the server I am on. Uh, if you guys don't know what lag is, that is basically when the game kind of... The difference in time between you and the information you send and the information the enemy sends to the server is kind of... It's too long basically, it takes too long. You, you basically measure... You can also get lag just in single player for example, if your PC is not good enough. Uh, so that, that's a prime example too, but uh, the lag I'm talking about is basically the lag you get when your FPS, or no, not your FPS, but when your ping is too high. Uh, ping is basically the time it takes for the information the computer, the server sends to you and for you to receive it. And it's measured in milliseconds. So, for example, if you have a ping of 100, it takes one-tenth of a second for that information to reach the server and uh, basically impact the gameplay itself. So, it, it really is like this. If you have a ping greater than 100, you basically can't really play the game because anything more than that you should you should pref preferably have a ping of around 50 to 60 for the game to work really good but you can play most games with a ping of 100 uh, as long as it's not much more than that because it, it won't really lag too much then but basically my point is that uh, when he sees me and shoots me I'm on my screen already behind the corner but he sees me as in front of the corner and he hits me and that is basically what's kind of called hit detection when you die anyways when he shouldn't have hit me it's just because his computer is slow uh, and that is to compensate for bad internet and things like that. that it's kind of good in, in some ways but it gets really really annoying when people have a ping greater than for example 100 or 150 because hit detection that way messes up the fun. 
fucking game. You can see prime examples of that in COD. And we have some guy teabagging me right there. I do not really know why, but I'm gonna guess he's pissed because I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but basically, I'm just hoping it's just due to a massive, massive lag because you cannot see the ping of people right now. I certainly fucking hope that will change because I am uh, still an admin at Lokalen, a, a great big, big server provider basically, or they get their servers provided by Webhallen, a Swedish. Uh, basically, on demand internet uh, computer buying uh, website, basically, and those servers are amazingly good. I played all my Battlefield Bad Company 2 on those servers, and uh, I, I generally like it there, so I basically applied to be an admin. I haven't been a, a very a very, how do you say it, active admin lately because I haven't basically played anything but I told uh, I told one of the head admins I, I was going back for for uh, Battlefield 3 if it will be possible and said yeah that, that's fine, that's, that's no problem and uh, I like that, that's good. And basically, uh, to have people shoot you when you're around the corner is very annoying and I think, I, I think and I hope it's just because of lag because if it is hit detection like in Call of Duty I'm gonna get pissed and I will definitely ask for my money back because that's a no-go for me. I mean, uh, th that is for 12 years. That's that's to please 12 year olds with a bad internet. That's basically what hit that kind of hit detection is for. The the kind of that is in COD. I mean, it, it's just incredibly stupid why a company that make uh, that wants to have a respected first-person shooter genre have something like that. That it, it's just sad. I mean. I, I would rather say fuck the guys with bad ping, make it fucking make them play on another server basically, and that's why I like servers with ping restrictions. For example, you get kicked if you have over a hundred ping, and that that's basically my point right there. Fuck, I've talked so long about this. <laughs> uh, thing, uh, things that I really really like is actually how the game acts, how you move around in the world. I mean, it, it seems it feels very fluent, uh, but. Um, some other things that I don't like is that you cannot bind your keys on your mouse, for example. You can only bind your uh, right and left mouse button, and that is kind of suck in my opinion. But then again, that is something I think they will most probably fix. And as you can see there, I'm not really used to key keys, so I press F instead of G, so I don't throw my nade on that guy. I try to knife him from 20 feet, <laughs> from like 20 yards away or 20 meters away. And that doesn't really work that well in battle field. Uh, I like it uh, that they actually have made the knifing take a bit longer, so basically if you're gonna knife people you really have to be sure you, uh, you you are safe basically, that they are camping and you're behind their back, because knifing someone takes about three seconds I would say almost, because you basically like, grab a hold of them, you turn them around, you stab them in the throat basically and rips away their their dog collar basically or dog tag and it's amazing uh, other things that i really like the game looks awesome i mean it, it, it's not some kind of ploy i mean i'm not even playing on ultra right now and i'm not playing on the 1080p the footage you see now it's just 720p and i also render my videos in quite quite lousy quality but still, you can see the quality is excellent, the game is running superbly, I mean, I'm recording this and running it in 60fps. Uh, I tried to, to play on Ultra yesterday, and uh, with basically everything I could play on Ultra, I wasn't able to put everything on Ultra, some things are just high. And uh, it, it worked amazingly good, and I mean, it, it's, it's amazing that it, it runs so well when it's still in beta, I mean, that is amazing. Um, other other things I don't like is of course the Origin engine. I mean, I I just wish I would be able to play this on Steam instead because I like Steam so much better. But then again, uh, Origin is basically just a worse uh, means worse thing than Steam basically, just because. Uh, the fact that it is so new and Steam has been around for like, what is it, six years maybe now? Or four years? 
four, four, five, six years there somewhere. I actually don't really know, but I mean, Steam works so well. Steam is still a DRM ser service, so I mean, it, it's, Steam is kind of sucky in some ways, but uh, St Steam makes up for it in so many good ways, and that's something Origin doesn't do yet, I mean, except for the Battlefield free beta and I mean this is the only way they're gonna get people to actually get Origin so I think it was a really good call of DICE and EA to actually make sure it was a free beta and oh my god that's a nice kill right there two sprays and a third guy here right there very nice I like that and uh, so uh, as you can see if you have played Battlefield before in any kind of way uh, you will be doing good in this game too so you will be pwning cod noobs all day long <laughs> because I mean seriously uh, if you play against people on COD, you can get killed by someone and owned by them uh, so completely. Uh, I mean, uh, all from 12-year-old boys to 30-year-old to men, I mean, you can get owned so badly. Uh, but Battlefield actually requires some skills, some thinking, some good movement and shit like that. And you can't really camp or call in some kind of airstrike or some shit like that. So, I mean, I just re generally really like Battlefield. But then again, I'm a man of principle. So I would uh, I would say I won't buy it if some of the things I just, just, um, just mentioned isn't fixed. Because... In all honesty, I don't want to pay for a game that I do not feel uh, satisfy my needs and uh, my uh, my expectations, especially when it's a triple A title like this. And I don't really have that much more to say. I mean, it's still just beta, so I mean, hopefully, and most probably, most of this shit is gonna be fixed. So, yeah. As usual, uh, thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys learned some and at least find this video interesting since this is kind of my first commentary. But as usual, thank you guys for watching, have a wonderful day, bye bye.